Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In the previous video, we had discussed about partitions and PostgreSQL database. And in this video, we are going to discuss about foreign data in Postgres. So, PostgreSQL provides the ability to access data from external sources using the SQL MED specification, which is SQL management of external data. This allows users to query foreign data as if it were stored in PostgreSQL itself. So, let's understand the foreign data wrappers, which is FDW. A foreign data wrapper, that is FDW, is a module that enables PostgreSQL to communicate with an external data source. FDWs manage the connections, details, and data retrieval processes, and it makes remote data available for query. And PostgreSQL includes built-in FDWs, and also we can create additional FDWs as well. So some of common FDWs are like PostgreSQL FDW, MySQL FDW, ODBC FDW, and File FDW. Now let's see the steps to access the foreign data in PostgreSQL. So to work with the foreign data, we need to follow these steps below. The first step is to create a foreign data wrapper. The foreign data wrapper defines how PostgreSQL interacts with an external data source. So first step is to create an extension for that here we can see there is no extension of postgres fdw so first we create one extension the extension is created and we can verify like this the extension is available so once the extension is created we can create the foreign data wrapper so how we can create the foreign data wrapper the step is this create foreign data wrapper the name of the foreign data wrapper and then the keyword handler the handler is postgres fdw handler and validator is also postgres fdw validator so let's create this foreign data wrapper the foreign data wrapper is created. The next step is to create a foreign server. A foreign server contains connection details for the external data source. So in this case, I am using PostgreSQL 17 server. But for me, the external server or external data source would be the Postgres 16. So to how we can connect to the Postgres 16 or any other remote host as well. So for that, we create a server, create server, the server name. I have given the server name as foreign server then the foreign data wrapper the foreign data wrapper is postgres fdw and in the option section i need to mention few things such as a host for me host is localhost db name what is the database name of the foreign data source so if i expand this foreign data so i have one database called postgres and the port number to connect to the database so the port is 5433 so let's create this foreign server so the foreign server is created and it can be connected to the PostgreSQL 16. Once the foreign server is created, the next step is to create user mapping. A user mapping associates a PostgreSQL role with credentials for the foreign server. So I have given the connection details in the foreign server, but within the foreign server through which user we need to connect. So for that, I can mention in that thing in the user mapping. So let's create one user mapping. Uh, in this case, the user mapping would be for the current user and the server would be the foreign server and in the option section we need to mention the foreign server users. So I'll connect through Postgres user and the password for that user is root. So let's create this user mapping. The user mapping is created and in the next step we need to create a foreign table. So the foreign table represents external data in PostgreSQL similar to regular table but this will be without local storage. That means whatever query we perform or whatever insert update we do it will be reflected in the actual table which resides in within the foreign server. So in this case we will create one foreign table called foreign employees that is linked to the foreign servers employees table so if i expand it i can show you in the foreign server there is a table called employees table so we can create one table as foreign table that is linked to foreign servers table so the step is like this create foreign table the name of the table then the attributes of the table and then we need to mention the server foreign server in the option section we need to mention the schema name of the foreign server and then the table name so let's create the foreign table the foreign table is created we can verify that so in our current server if i refresh the foreign table section i can see one table is created called foreign table so here you can see there is an icon that says that th this table is a foreign table and this is not the original table of this database so the next step is to query the foreign data once the foreign table is created we can query it like any other postgresql table and for that there is no a special keyword or anything required so let's query this table 
so let's start from the foreign employees so no data return because in the base table there is no data in the foreign server so i can show you that as well so if i query this employees table from the base server so here we can see there is no data resides within the foreign data itself so now let's try to modify some foreign data so depending upon the fdw capabilities we can perform insert update and delete operations as well so let's insert one record into the foreign table so one record is inserted and we can query that so we have got the result but if this is reflected in the base table or not that also we can verify so let's query this one so here we can see that is reflected in the foreign server as well so similarly we can update the data as well so let's perform one update operation so data is updated and we can verify that as well so we can see the salary is updated and in the foreign data as well the salary must have been updated so here we can see the salary is updated so also like uh, insert and update we can perform the delete operation as well so let's uh, delete the data so the data is deleted and we can verify that as well so we can see the data from foreign data is uh, deleted and also we can verify the same using the foreign server so here we can see the data is actually removed from the base table so uh, this is how we can create a foreign table and we can perform operations so instead of creating one one tables individually so we can import the entire foreign schema so let's see how we can do it so for that the command is import foreign schema the public the public schema we want to import from server the foreign server into the public schema of this current server so let's perform this import operation the import is successful so now if i refresh the foreign table section in my current server so here i can see that other tables sales and sales by reason are also created and these are created with the data as well so we can verify that so here we can see the data from foreign server are transferred to the current server as well once all the work is done and we don't need the foreign server anymore so we can simply drop the postgres fdw extension with cascade option so it will remove all the dependency of the foreign data so let's uh, drop it so we have dropped the extension and it removes all the foreign data wrappers and also the foreign tables so this is how we can drop the objects of uh, foreign table and foreign wrappers as well so let's see the use cases of foreign data in PostgreSQL. The first use case is data integration. It helps in combining data from multiple databases, reporting and analytics, query external data without duplicating it. And the third point is microservices and distributed system. It has access data across services efficiently. So let's see the conclusion. So by leveraging foreign data wrappers, PostgreSQL enhances its capabilities to interact with various external systems, making it a powerful tool for managing diverse databases. So this was all about foreign data in PostgreSQL database. If the video is helpful, do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos. So let's meet in the next video with the topic of dependency tracking in PostgreSQL database. So till then, take care. Bye bye.